What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the last episode of Poke. Uh, I said Pokemon. Whoops. <laughs> back to Spectrobes. Let's play Spectrobes. Last episode, you guys, we found Dr. Wright and um, saved him. Yay. And uh, now we're going to be heading to Nessa to see our good friend Cyrus. Which, this is one part of the game I do remember, at least part of it. We're gonna go have to go back to Daichi, or Daichi, whatever, however you pronounce it, and get him a diamond. I I do remember that. But anyway, guys, I did change up my team slightly. I I, I say slightly. I've only changed one person or one spectrobe. Um, because I found out, I actually had to look this up, which is a bit sad. How to evolve child spectrobes into adult, and adult into evolved. Apparently, they either have to have a certain stat, a certain amount of HP, or, be, well, like that, and be in the incubator for a certain amount of time, which... Well, not the incubator, the, um... Yeah, I guess it's the incubator. I don't know. For a certain amount of time, so... Having learned that, which I I'm sad that I actually had to look that up because it's so different from what I'm used to and beyond the portals. I feel like I'm a little bit more justified taking my time looking for all these minerals. Because every spectrum has to have a certain amount of, like, 180 attack, 150 defense, so... That's my, um, that's my justification. Wait. Okay, I think, yep. Okay, I think we saw that last episode. There's a black coat in sand, dunes, and ancient ruins. Seems a bit repetitive, honestly. It's like... It's a desert planet, so it's obviously covered in tropical jungles. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, head out. Ugh. I don't like this camera angle. So, so much. Let's see, can I still find stuff? Like minerals in here. I want to say I can, just because you you can be on the pulse, which was interesting. You know, I mean, I get I'm excavating them from the ground, but this is like man-made structures. So why is there minerals there? But you know, I'm not gonna complain. Not yet. Okay, it looks like I can't because I'm not finding anything. Not even a data cube. That's sad. Say, do you... Do you sell stuff? Oh, I can sell these, uh... Fucking... Wow, I can only get a hundred for a data cube. Not happening. I thought it'd be at least like 500 or something, you know? I mean, this is valuable knowledge and then just like, yeah, we're only gonna pay a uh, pocket change. Lame. Just lame. I mean, I might as well sell them because... Like, I only need one to activate whatever it's supposed to activate, right? Ah, there he is. Our favorite scumbag. Actually, you know, I don't think he's so much a scumbag so much as he's just greedy. Like, he's not an evil person. About well, time you got here, officer. Do you know how long you kept me waiting? No, I... I don't. How long have I kept you waiting? Huh? Are you Cyrus? Did you report having trouble with strange black vortexes? You bet I did. These things have me scared and mad. 
I completely blocked access to the ruins. Scared, really? I, I I think he's just hyping it up to get more sympathy, but if he's actually scared, that's a big deal. That's why I call the MPP. I need help retrieving an item of utmost value. I hope you're up to the job. <laughs> it's either gonna have to go back to Daiichi or here on Nessa. Uh, item of value? You mean treasure? You called us to help plunder treasure? You bet I did. My workers have been getting attacked left and right. Okay, okay, well, by that logic, it actually makes sense. Isn't the duty of every MPP officer to assist citizens in their time of need? <laughs> okay, he's just trying to abuse the system. Well, what I need is for you to take care of those vortexes. Then I need you to find the items that are deep inside the ruins. It's called a keystone. Oh. Am I not... I, I remember at some point I'm supposed to get him a diamond. Guess that's not till later, apparently. Are you joking? The MPP is here to protect law and order, not hunt for treasure. I mean, I'm hunting for minerals. I don't know what you're hunting for, Roland. Listen up, kid. The keystone is terribly important to me. And I need a, get a hand getting my hands on it. Okay, the fact that it keeps highlighting keystone... I think I know what that's going to lead to. I, I have a general idea. How about this? You help me get the keystone, I give you a rare cube in return. I don't know, dude. Rare cubes usually means I'm going to find like three of the same one. Did you say cube? No, I said rare cube. Not a bad deal, eh? I guess, but... You guess? Don't be foolish. You know it's a great deal. I must obtain this keystone. It'll be the second I've discovered. I found the first one here many moons ago. Many, many moons? Uh, that's a weird thing to say. Th I don't think this planet has more than one moon. But Professor Kate convinced me to donate to the museum for research. I haven't held it since. Ah, you got the hearts for Professor Kate, huh, buddy? So, what do you say? Can you help a desperate treasure hunter? You'll get the cube for your trouble. Or, for your time, at least. Cube for a keystone, huh? Alright, I'll lend your hand. You have a deal? I thought you'd see it that way. The desert on the other side of the planet, that's where you can find the wounds. You liar! The whole planet is a giant desert! Inside the ruins, search for a stone that glows like none you've seen. That's the keystone. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, he's not the most upstanding gentleman. But, you know, credit where credit's due, he's not a... I don't think he's an evil guy. You know? Greedy, yeah. A bit morally ambivalent? Absolutely, but... I don't know. I don't think he's a bad guy. He's definitely not the kind of guy you want to say like, Oh yeah, that's my buddy. But, I don't know. Oh, I can rotate the planet. Oh, that's neat. I like to bet him beyond the portals when they have the L icon that you can just tap. Alright. Now, this, now this is different. Now, if I remember excavating in, in desert, well, not in, on Nessa, basically, it's going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, because I can't constantly have to keep the sand off of it. Right? Maybe I'm not in the actual desert desert part yet. I don't know. Because if I, if I don't have to constantly be blowing sand off every five seconds, that's great. Oh, I see the block vortex already. Alright. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it seems like these things respawn even when I'm not... Yeah, um... That... Uh, Nagoo, like the giant claw guy. Yeah, he hits hard, but it's kind of hard to navigate with him.
Yeah, just a, just a little bit. Okay. For some reason I couldn't hit anything. Uh, I, I might have to... I, I don't know. It, it, it's so hard to navigate with him because he, he's just sliding around. You know? Actually, you know what? Now that I've, um... Changed up my team. I'm gonna see what this ch my special charge attack looks like now. Preferably before my team dies. You know, preferably. Alright, how much is this gonna do? Ah, meteors! Okay, meteor barrage. Ah, 66. Alright, I'll take it. So yeah, I also found out that, um, like, if, if you have Pokemon in with, uh, I keep saying Pokemon, I'm, I'm sorry. If you have Spectrobes in, like, your, like, reserved slots, apparently, like, their strength gets added to, like, I think, I, I almost want to say, like, your charge attack. Because if you guys notice in the, um, how is that not a hit? Yeah, it, it's just hard to nav even aim with this guy. Anyway, uh, uh, what just happened? What just happened? Ah, oh, god damn it! I think my um emulator closed. <sighs> yep, okay, well, that was a good waste of 12 minutes then. At least now I can just, you know, fast forward. Well, not fast forward. Yeah, man. Anyway, like I was gonna say... It, like, having a Spectrobe in reserve seems to add, like, power to my charge attack. Because one of the icons kind of has a green arrow above it. It's, like, being better. Increased. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm not, like, like a super, like, expert at this game. I apologize. I really wish I was. But, you know, it's just... Whatever. You know. Alright. Now we can hopefully get back to where we were. Okay. Alrighty. And just to make sure... Come on, up the ramp. And when we get to the other side... Yeah. Come on. Area 3. Am I supposed to be on Area 3? I just noticed that. Yep. Heal me up. Save. Perfect. Alright. Okay. Yeah, this is a big area. All right, fight time. Oh, come on, buddy. How could you miss? I mean, very easily, apparently. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, that was powerful. Well, that was less powerful. Ah, oh, Wallen's dead. Immediately. Great game. 
Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if these, um, black vortexes, if they stay gone once I defeat them. Because I want to explore, but at the same time, I don't know where the boundaries are. You know? Because this is a much bigger area than, than I remember, like, beyond the portals. Like, all that stuff. That was... I don't think this is another cube. Nope. It's a... Platinum? Every time I look at this particular mineral, I keep thinking it's like an egg. Like a fried egg. Yep, platinum. Yay! Ooh, this one looks... pink. Defense A, huh? Okay. Come on. I don't know what's going on, but sometimes, like, it seems like, like, my mouse has just stopped working. Well, I have 1200 experience, I still haven't leveled up. Damn. <sighs> okay. So, I will say this, uh, the combat mechanics in this game aren't my favorite. Just point that out there now. I don't like them. But anyway, like I said, if you guys notice, like, on the, um, like the, uh, like the, uh, right of the screen, or like on the smaller, uh, what? There we go. Like, on the, where you would ex Basically, the, where you see all the stats, all the health and all that. If you notice, like, on the, um... Where you, you see, like, my attack stats... It seems to get, like, a plus. Like, there's a green thing attached to it, which... You know, it's a good thing, apparently. Alright. Haha! -ha. Well, I actually got one. Haha! So, yeah. I honestly don't know if that's... Like, w what each spectral does or adds to that. Like, is that just for the charge attack? Is that for the actual attack? I don't know. I really don't. I will say this, it's nice not having to dig through or blow away like the layers of sand. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Spun that guy around. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to like get some health regen items or something. <sighs> Cause having to angle them so they're facing the enemy before I can attack them is just I don't like it. I really don't. I like it better if, like, I 
don't have to aim them. Like, they just go straight for the enemy. That'd be great. I do like how, like, Nagu, like, his, like, he hits twice. Like, that's great. Ah, oh, everyone's lovely in it. Wow. Yeah, cause I gotta go back to the ship. So what I'm thinking I'll do... Because... because I, I, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys because... I feel like you will give me a good opinion. Should I just... Ignore the battles and only do the excavation like off screen... And then just level everyone up in between episodes. You know, just ignore the battles, ignore the excavation until, you know, just, like, do that off-screen. And then just say, like, okay, I got everyone up a couple levels, I added this one to the team, you know. Let me know if you guys want, would like to see that, you know. Okay, so, I guess we have to go this way then. Right? No, we're not supposed to go this way? Aren't we? Aren't we? Okay, we're just going to circles now. Cause I don't care for the... Okay, we gotta go this way. Like I said, I really don't care for the actual battle battles. So... You know, like... Probably just show off, like, the, um... The boss battles, if that's still a thing. I, I can't remember if there are boss battles. Yeah, take your time coming to get me, guys. I'm okay with that. Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, like, what happened to my attack? Apparently I switched menus without realizing. <sighs> oh, my, uh, well, teammate's dead. Lovely. And I... I can still use a charge attack. Okay. So let's see how well this turns out. Okay, I can still charge it, but I can't actually use it. That's so, that's so stupid. And I'm probably gonna die here. Yep. Where's my, um... Nope. There we go. Yep, dead. Alright, guys. Um... I'm just going to run past everything again. Because I, I know some of you probably don't care about the excavation, which I can understand that completely. No, I think I got to go this way. Yep. And the battles do get repetitive. Like, I've... It, it's just sad. Alright. We're in the wounds. Um... Okay, if that... If that Black Vortex just wants to chill, be, you know, be, be cool, I'm alright with that. Nope. Come on. You know, 
She just wants to, you know, be there. Okay. I hope this isn't an actual maze. This looks important. No, that was just a fucking exit. Great. Okay, so let's try and find the wheel. Way out. Oh, come on. Yeah. Um, let's uh, keep going. You know, let me know if that's something you guys would like would be okay with if I just did like the excavation, leveling up, off screen, just skip battles unless I had to, at least in this game. And beyond the portals, I was like, okay, battle, excavate, move on. But it, it, that doesn't seem to work in this game. Because, I don't know, the dual screen, like, mechanic in this game, it, it just fucks with everything. Makes it hard to see, and honestly, I'm not 100% certain if they actually do um, dissipate, like, and be on the portals. Like, you defeat them, great. Then you can feel free to explore. I don't think that's, that's gonna work in this game. I don't think that's possible. Sure, okay, just keep missing, buddy. I was gonna say, like, it looks like we can't get past this one without a fight. <laughs> oh, you gotta be. <sighs> I mean, I could run, but honestly, I want to get some experience, and uh, uh, the plus side of fighting is I actually do get, also get money, so. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, never mind. Apparently, I was going the right way the whole time. Right? Yep. Alright. Wait, what's the story then? Dead end. Okay. Okay, I think this is what I'm supposed to find. Right? Oh, that was a close one. Now yeah, this looks important. Okay. I thought that was where I was supposed to get, but no, apparently it was just a lamp. Apparently. No oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna run from this one. Okay, where is this thing I'm supposed to collect here? Come on. Alright. Where? Am I supposed to find another way around or something? Ugh, come on. I don't want this episode to go on too long. Okay, well, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to continue on through the ruins and hopefully find what we're supposed to look for, the keystone, apparently. So, anyway, guys, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to leave a comment if you got something you want to say. And if you wouldn't mind, I would really appreciate if you go check out my brother's Twitch channel, which will be in the description below. He does a lot of good live streams. I think you'll enjoy his content. Anyway, you guys, again... Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join my alliance. Because we've actually, um, we're getting stronger, my friends. We're getting stronger. And also make sure you ring the bell to get notified of future videos, because apparently I gotta say that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.